Mykonos is part of the Kiklades Islands in the Aegean Sea, probably known best for its beautiful beaches and electric nightlife. Today, I'm sharing our recent trip to Mykonos and how to soak up everything the island has to offer if you only have one to two days to spend. We visited at the end of May, just before the start of peak season. If you're looking to avoid major crowds and premium prices, May is the perfect time to visit. The weather was sunny and around 70 degrees Fahrenheit for the entire time we were there. Plus, without the crowds, we ended up with the best seat in the house wherever we went. To get to Mykonos, you can take a high-speed ferry for the full island hopping experience. Then since we were already at the Athens airport, we booked a connecting flight and took off and landed in about 30 minutes. Many of the hotels arrange free transfers to and from the airport or ferry port. You can choose to stay in the city center of Mykonos town or closer to one of the many beaches on the island. We stayed at Hotel Palladium in Platos Yalos and highly recommend it. The property itself is beautiful, the staff are so friendly, and it's only about a five minute walk away from the beach. Platos Yalos itself is a pretty family friendly beach. Unlike a lot of beach clubs on Mykonos, many of the restaurants in the area offer free beds and umbrellas for their customers. It's also home to two of the best restaurants on the entire island, Blue Myth and Avli 2 The Dory. We went to dinner at Blue Myth for our first night in Mykonos. We scored a table for two along the water, ordered mussel salganaki, maconian salad, and feta cheese wrapped in a sesame crust. Probably the best thing we ate on the entire island. For our one full day on the island, we woke up extra early to watch the sunrise before we hit the beach. There are plenty to choose from, but if you search for Mykonos beaches online, you'll probably read about two very well-known options, Paradise and Super Paradise. I mean, with names like that, it's no surprise they're two of the biggest party scenes on the island. From Platos Yalos, you can take a water taxi to Paradise, Super Paradise, and Ilias Beach for only 10 euro a round trip. It's a great way to see a little bit of the island and might even be cheaper than a taxi. We decided to head to Super Paradise since it's a little less crowded than Paradise Beach. For 25 euro, we got two beds, an umbrella, and towels just feet from the water. The beach starts getting lively around 2 p.m., but if you get there earlier, it feels like you have the entire beach to yourself. After soaking up the sun for a few hours, we headed back to Platos Yalos for lunch at Adli. This place is ranked as the number one restaurant in all of Mykonos for a reason. Great service, a beautiful beachfront view, and the most delicious food. We shared the green salad with pine nuts and grilled cheese, meatballs and red sauce, and another round of feta wrapped in a pastry, because it was that good. For less than two euro, we hopped on the bus into Mykonos town. If you're looking for the picturesque whitewashed buildings, blue painted doors, and stone lined streets that the island is known for, Mykonos town is it. Take some time wandering the alleys, checking out local and luxury boutiques, and snapping as many photos as you can. And if you only have one night in Mykonos, you have to watch the sunset over Little Venice, which is a little row of buildings in Mykonos town that is reminiscent of Venice, Italy. We situated ourselves at Caprice for cocktails and a front row view. For the best tables along the water, get there about an hour to an hour and a half before sunset. I promise you, their giant fresh fruit cocktails will keep you plenty occupied while you wait for the show to begin. If you're traveling to Greece and plan on doing some island hopping, Mykonos should definitely be on your list. Well guys, I hope you found these tips to be helpful. For more adventures in life, fashion, and travel, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, and check out my blog at skirttherolesblog.com.